What's up guys? My name is Mesa One and today I'll be doing some stuff with the Creator Project. Now the Creator Project is a project for the MV8000 and MV8800. It's basically a template for creating multi-sample patches, high quality, of any outboard synths and instruments that you have. Uh, today I'm going to be doing it with Reason. Now this has an advantage over the MV's make keyboard function because this preserves the ADSR envelopes and natural cutoff. Now anybody that's used that make keyboard function in the MV knows that you'll have a degradation of quality the further away from the original pitch that you get. So uh, lock in tight, let's get started. Alright, for the setup part of this, you'll want to load up the creator project in your MV and uh, make sure that your MIDI out from the MV is going to your sound module. In this case, it's my MIDI audio interface leading to reason. You also want to make sure that the output, the audio output of your sound module or sound card is going from the sound card or sound module to the line inputs on the MV. Don't use the phono. Use the line. And always make sure to have your sense knobs adjusted beforehand, otherwise you'll get a signal that's not satisfactory. Uh, secondly, a lot of MVs have a bug, so you're going to want to go ahead and press System, scroll down to Global, and make sure that you're on Phono or Mic Line, and then exit that. And uh, that'll do it for the setup right now. Um, let's get started. On to using the patch creator itself. The way it's laid out is we have one audio track for recording purposes. You will want to record the audio output of the synth. That's the whole reason we're here. And then underneath it, we have step recorded notes for every resolution. Now you'll see resolution 160, etc. Underneath each resolution, after you pick whatever resolution you want, there's a number there. It's a location. That's the punch out. So what we'll do is we're going to go down here and we'll select resolution 1920 here and we're soloed on that so we'll set our punch out to 49 bars 01 so then we press shift auto punch make sure that the in is at the top the out is 4901 we're good there exit auto punch button is lit you'll go into track parameters for the track you're using, make sure you set your MIDI port correctly. In this case, it's going to be A1. And make sure that the output assigned is not going to any patch. So we're good there. Close. Now we'll test it, hitting some pads. And click it again. Okay, we're good. On to the actual recording. So we're soloed at the bottom, go up to the top here, select the audio track, press record. Double check that you're on direct record, the punch out set, we don't need a count in, and uh, we'll just close this out and press play. So you see it's recording. We'll come back when it's finished for part three and the final part of this tutorial. All right, welcome back to part three. Uh, we've set up and we have recorded. And now we have the output file, the audio output of your synth. So it's gonna be right up here in the audio track. So what you wanna do is press project and eight. That'll select the sample manager. Press enter and that'll bring us up here. Now our particular sample here is sample three. Um, that's just the way it is. So you'll want to go over here and click quick assign. Then you click chop. Now to lay it out, don't bother waiting for it to uh, show the whole waveform. We're going to go to auto chop right away. Now since there are 48 notes, we are going to set this to divide X by 48. Because there are 48 notes, we're chopping it into 48 equal pieces. Since it's been step recorded, all of the notes are equal to begin with. Execute that. 
Now it's chopped the waveform. What we're going to do is press shift and right cursor to zoom in. And then, as you can see, all the chops are lining up perfectly. Uh, let's go over here later on in the waveform. And they're still good. And all the way to the end. As you can see, no drift, no nothing. So now we click Assign to Patch. And then, you know, pick wherever it is that you want to put it. As you can see, it's mapped it to the first three pad banks. Click Execute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close out of this. <clears throat> we are going to press the Instruments button. And now the patch that we've just made is highlighted. What we're going to want to do is go to Patch Edit. And then the little menu icon there. Go to Patch Name. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it blah, 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 whatever. Okay, 5HQT patch. That's, uh, that's nice. Now, we click OK. Our patch is named, so we go back to that little menu. And we go to Save Patch. I'm going to save it to our hard drive. So, in my case, I go to User. And then I put it on patches and click execute now it's saving our patch I'll come back when this is done and show you loading it up and using it again so I've started a new patch or a new project and I'm loading the patch that we just made and uh, it's almost done completed okay we're gonna exit out there it is, uh, 5 HQT. And uh, here we have it in the first section of our instruments. So let's just scroll down and try that patch. All right, we're all done. That's the patch creator. I'm Mesa One. Thanks for watching. Be creative.